Good morning or afternoon to all you chaps out there, whoever's watching this video right now, and welcome to another episode of LEGO Weaponry. Today we have another shotgun for you guys today, and this has been an idea of mine for quite a while, and I wanted to make this shotgun just because it's kind of popular in when it comes to media, such as like video games, such as Counter-Strike, well, I haven't, I haven't played it myself, but I have seen other people play it and screenshots of the game with this shotgun in, and Modern Warfare 2, which I have played, funny enough. And, um, well, I don't know if this is featured in the Battlefield franchise or the Medal of Honor franchise, but hey ho, here is a good old shotgun. So, here it is the M1014 shotgun. Well, there are other names for this shotgun, but I just call it whatever I think it's called, and that is the M1014. So, anyway. Let's have a look at the facts as well as the comparisons between this LEGO version and the real version. So, let's have a look. Interesting. So let's have a look at the areas and the features, including the details of this shotgun. Well, I tried my best of it when it came to making it, even though this is my first attempt and all, but hey ho. Ew. Well, in my perspective, it looks as though it was a shotgun that I've made before, just because, well, it looks basic and everything else. So, yeah, this was kind of easy for me to actually make at first. So, yes, anyway, let's have a look at the areas. So, first things first. Um, here's the push grip, trigger, right here, trigger guard, charging handle, like so, for the breech. Um, here is where you load up your 12 gauge shells in. I don't know the capacity of it, I think it's like, I don't know, 5 or 7 or 8 or something like that, so, yeah, pretty interesting. Uh, here's like the front grip here, well, I try my best of it, even though that the body itself was a bit wide, so I had to make the front part here a little bit wider than it has to be, so, yes, anyway. Here is the um, ammo tube, or this is where the spring is contained to push the 12 gauge shells in to the chamber to be loaded up and everything else, so, yes. Here's the barrel, obviously, which ends up to here, where the chamber is. It's like from here to here. So, interesting. Uh, here's the rear sight, foresight. Now, I was having slight trouble with the foresight just because there were different versions of the foresight when it came to video games and everything else, and I didn't know which one to rely on the most. So, yeah, I tried my best with making this one, and it's not so bad on how it turned out. I don't know if this is inaccurate or not correct in total, but I'll try my best of it, but hey ho, at least I've done like the first person view and down the side view for your sake and everything else, just in case if you want to know what this looks like when it came to first person and everything else, and see if it's, you know, comparison wise and everything else, if that makes any sense. Like, well, compared to the first person view from, like, I don't know, Modern Warfare 2 or Counter Strike or something like that, and this. So, yeah, see the similarities between the two. So, anyway, here's the stock. Well, I'll try my best with the stock with the angle and everything else. Well, I don't. Well, to be honest, I don't like the angle as much just because, well, it's not straight when it comes to your shoulder. You know, you have to have it in an angle, which is kind of annoying, but. You know, a shotgun's a shotgun, so, yes, I'll try the best of it, well, how I've made it, well, technically it's just hold pieces, and that connects to the, well, that connects round here, so, yeah, that's probably the reason why it moves so much, so, yes, but I know on the real version that this stock is adjustable, and could be put away and everything else but I've forgotten to do that just because well I didn't have enough time to do that including the um, lid part I don't know what it's actually called but you know what I mean and I've forgotten to do this part as well as well as the move movement of the stock and everything else so yeah I'm sorry for that but at least you get to see the shotgun in its full glory so yeah pretty darn interesting so 
Anyway, yes, this is all I have time for you guys, unfortunately, today. But join me tomorrow, that is, as I'll be showing you a non-firearm, which yeah, which has been... Well, actually, this non-firearm is an important weapon to a very sarcastic character, as you may say. And he is like an anti-hero or something like that. And he has two of these non-firearms and they are very sharp uh, to be honest you know i think they're like the world's sharpest thing ever to be honest just because well they were made of special metal and they were crafted the way they haven't before or something like that i don't know but either way i'll be showing you those good old two weapons that's if i do make the two of them but if i don't i'll probably show you one of them so yeah but i will try my best to make two of them just to get the tradition going as in like its um, characteristics when it comes to the actual person as in like the anti-hero like I've mentioned. But either way, join me tomorrow for that. But if you enjoyed this episode, don't forget to leave a like or comment down below on what you think this episode should help you a lot. But if you really liked it, why not subscribe to my channel and keep the channel going. Oh yes, keep up to date with videos that I do as well. And also keep up to date with videos that I do as well. Oh well, yes, I don't know if I said that already, but hey ho. But anyway, so yes, if you're new around the channel, you know, welcome. You know, feel free to have a look around my present content or my um, past content that I've done for the channel so far or whatnot. So yeah, I appreciate your support that you've given me, including everyone else, whoever's been giving me support so far for the channel, whoever's been around here for a long time and everything else so yeah i appreciate every subscriber whoever whoever's been around my channel so yeah i appreciate all the support that you are giving me so far you know i appreciate the suggestions and all the comments that you give back and a, a lot i appreciate the likes and dislikes well i appreciate the dislikes because it comes to show um what i could well it may not say what i could improve but it comes to show your honesty you know, well, with some people that is, well, some people out there just do it for fun. It's like, I don't like it just because I just don't like it, you know? It's just the way it is, but hey-ho, at least some people out there are honest for what they are and for what they actually say about my content, so, yeah, I appreciate that. A yacht. A yacht? <laughs> I'm not a yacht. But anyway, join me tomorrow for a non-firearm, well, two of them, that is, and as always... Enjoy the rest of your days. Salute!